Hello there, Croeso, and welcome. I'm Shadow Lemux, and I'm back here on Breakfast to do another edition of the Shadow Lemux Daily Challenges Challenge. As we can see, the weekly challenge is stock car racing on the Mudford Motor Park, a challenge I've done plenty of times, and I've done plenty of videos for this. So, with that in mind, we're going to go ahead and do, as I said, another edition of the Shadow Lemux Daily Challenges Challenge. The challenge is simple. I get one shot to do each of the daily challenges. Uh, whatever result I get is what I have to take. The aim is to get four gold, but that doesn't always happen. And we're going to see if I can manage to do it for the second time ever. So let's start with this first one, a race on the Dirt Devil Stadium. So here we are for the first challenge, uh, the race on the Dirt Devil Stadium. I never really do anything with the settings, although when it comes to the Destruction Derby event, I will change the shifting to automatic. But I'm going to keep everything else as it is. And let's see how well this goes. Now, these challenges can... The difficulty on them varies greatly from challenge to challenge. Here we go. Oh, don't. That's it. Better throttle, catch the back end, and away we go. As I said, the difficulty on these challenges can vary greatly, but they are on the whole tend to be a bit quite a, a bit easier than some of the weekly and monthly challenges we can get. Although sometimes you'll get that daily challenge that is just absolutely impossible. Ooh, just keep it together. There we go. Don't need to push too hard. Okay, we've got a massive advantage over everyone else. So let's just take this nice and easy. Got five laps to do. It would be very easy for me to make a very big mistake. Oh. Seems I can't be uh, going too easy. AI wants a oh, the AI wants a piece of this, don't they? There we go. Break, reset. Seems I've got an actual challenge on my hand. So away we go. Seems I'm gonna have to try if I want that first. So let's start trying. No, don't fall off. Okay, this might not go too well. But it's always best never to give up, especially on rap fest. It could be very easy to make up a large number of positions very quickly. So the easiest way for me to make my way through this path would be to avoid the AI. Oh, lost the back end there. Yeah, well. So we're coming up now to the last lap. I'm currently in second. I think that's first just around the corner. mixing it up with the other AI. Let's hope they can have a, a big moment. Maybe I can... Oh, yeah. That's exactly what just happened. Don't mess it up. Don't go too easy. Don't want to bring disaster onto myself. And there we go. Didn't look like it was going to happen at first, but we got our first victory. Wow. That was closer than it needed to be, and that was pretty much my fault. So, we're going to move on to the next race now. Double Deckers 
on the Hill Street circuit. Right, let's see if I can make an easier go of this than I did in the first one. Oh, I don't want to be in the middle of the pack here. Come yeah, on, let's get it through. Throw it up the inside, use the AI as, AI as a brake. Don't tip over. No. Ooh, I was flipping up there, but easier to reset and to go. And that's the problem with this car. It's a lot faster than you expect it to be. And its ability to turn corners it, with speed is horrible. Truly, truly, I'm going to get hit there. So you've got to... You cannot carry too much speed into the corners, otherwise you're just going to tip over. So braking before the corner and trying to accelerate, get the car turned and then accelerate out is the safest way to be doing this As you see the car's got plenty of speed you just can't take any of that speed into corners brake there we go so while the car at the bottom could make these corners at greater speeds because of the car at the top and the extra vertical weight that you will just tip over if you try to carry that speed into corners so brake hard brake early get car turned and then when it's facing the exit of the corner accelerate nice lucky move through the gaps there again that's normally a full speed corner cutting the inside to help take it even faster but no chance of doing that on this car. Yeah, that's a bit better. Right. Unlike the last race where I said I'd take things easy because I had a healthy lead, which turned out to be completely wrong, it looks like this time I have got a bit of a healthier lead. Definitely not going to take things easy though. One mistake from myself at this point, I can pretty much kiss that gold goodbye. And I really do actually want to try and get four golds again. Something I used to do really often when I was doing these challenges just for my own amusement. Seems the moment I decided to start filming them and showing the world what I was doing, or well, showing the hundred or so people who are actually going to watch this but uh, yeah it turns out that when push comes to shove I can't deliver as well as I thought I could but in this case another gold is in the back so two challenges down two to go I got two gold and from the symbols here it looks like these are wrecking challenges yes as you can see at the bottom there wreck as many as you can score as many points as you can we're going to go with this one first i suspect it's going to be easier than the other one 15 wrecks i need to get on the more demolition arena so it looks like everyone's in stuff like lawn mowers and pocket rockets so this is just going to be nice and easy. Switch it to automatic. And three minutes, 15 reps. Oh, well, that's going to be nice and easy. Let's just go around here. Go, go, go. There's three already. There's you gone. Over the top. The only potential issue is if I have trouble locating that no shouldn't be too much of an issue oh what have i got I, yeah this is something that could cause a problem though so you need to reset because you've got an, one of these pocket rockets stuck under these a nice big four chunky wheels that the bugzilla has got 
and once that happens you are uh, well you're gonna lose a lot of speed you know lose a lot of turning ability oh come on hit someone there we go and the best way to deal with that is just a very quick reset slam on the brakes and hit that reset button I say slam on the brakes because if you're traveling too fast the game won't let you reset and that could oh come on and that could cause a lot of problems where you just if you continue to drive around you'll see speed too high so the easiest way to avoid that is just slam on the brakes and to hit that reset button get yourself going again as you'll see in the next challenge which is probably a traditional demolition derby where I need to get points I'm going to be using that reset button a lot especially if it happens to be on this track the smaller the demolition arena the more viable the reset the reset strategy becomes and the bigger ones it's particularly the Eagles Peak motor park wreck track that is very very difficult to implement the reset strategy on mainly because of the size of the arena but let's not get too much into that right now I'll have probably another three minutes to have a little chat about my particular destruction derby strategies when we do that so right now I'm just basically just drive around the middle collect anyone I can there we go so 15 was I always knew it was going to be fairly easy but it, as you can see I went lots of extended periods of time where I couldn't hit a thing that can cause problems on this sort of challenge but fortunately not today well we've done three challenges got three goals we're going to the last one now score as many points as you can this where are we the madman stadium so i can do my reset strategy on this but getting gold in these events can be heavily luck based i just gotta hope that i can pull off the strategy perfectly and get that fourth gold here we go So, in these little destruction events where score is what you're aiming for, your first job is to build up that multiplier. You can see it in the middle of the screen, it is currently at 1.9. Gotcha. And you want to get that high, as high as you can, and you do that just by getting into contact with the AI. You don't want to be chasing people too much, but oh, I got stuck ghosted. Don't want to lose it, oh, and I've lost it. So this is where things can get tricky. As you're building up the multiplier, you want to be staying in constant contact, essentially, with the AI. I must admit, I don't like my respawn spot, but not much I can do about that go just plow it into there and the reason you want to build up that multiplier is that so when you do start wrecking people you get a nice big chunk of score for it that was a bit of contact get this person yeah when you wreck someone with just a normal multi with a zero multiplier you're only getting a bit of basic score whereas when that multiplier goes up I can get some really big scores off those wrecks. 
and to begin with everyone's got too much health for you to be worrying about that so you do just build up the multiplier so when time comes to start wrecking people to start targeting those with low health then you can start getting a really nice score that should have been a wreck but oh there we go also another good thing a good reason to do this sort of strategy where you're basically targeting everyone but the uh, wrecking assists can really really help you out you've got 20 seconds to go i need 500 points come on i'm not gonna do this am i Turn. oh there we go a wrecking assist you see this is why you go for everyone the wrecking assist has saved the day wow that was close and there we have it another successful this time edition of the shadow lennox daily challenges challenges i got lucky very lucky with challenge one and challenge four and I am very happy to come away with four golds from this edition. So, if any of you out there want to give this a go, doesn't have to be obviously with these daily challenges, they're going to reset shortly. But if you ever want to give this a go, just let me know in the comments how you're doing. I'll be uh, happy to chat with anyone who tries to take up this challenge. And so for this edition, I just want to say Dioch and thank you for watching.